one half should be 1.5. Now we and chartered accountant, my lord, has interpreted. We we have not interpreted when 8/3/2009, my lord. It earlier uh, it was two third, and after 8/3/2009, it has been my lord 0.5, one half. So my lord, in the 1991, kindly see my lord the section itself, my lord. It says, I'm not saying your lordship anything. I'm not saying. Your lordship, now he is required to dispute the this chartered accountant report. No, it is only what he has. This is that hence relief under 189. चार्टर्ड अकाउंटेंट माइलॉर्ड हुज गिवन दिस रिपोर्ट मे माइलॉर्ड अगेन बी डायरेक्टेड माइलॉर्ड टू सबमिट माइलॉर्ड हिज एज ए क्लिनिकल रिपोर्ट दैट दैट इन इन टर्म्स ऑफ पैरा सिक्स पॉइंट फाइव वॉट हैज बीन क्लेम बाय द पिटिशनर and what has been mentioned in para in 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 the provision of section 244a what will subsist the, this can be mallot this can be asked from the mallot chartered accountant yes because mallot ultimately 244a section is the, the only section in which refund can be given now we have mallot as, we as i am understanding i may be wrong that he is asking interest a higher interest rate because of delay in refund No, there is no delay in this. You are part. saying that he is misinterpreting no, no, one no, half Lord, percent. No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm. My submission was only to the extent of my lord one half. When your lordship is saying that that delay was intentional on the part of income tax department, yes. that I, I'm explaining my lord. When my lord he filed WP number nine four nine four oblique two thousand seventeen, our stand my lord was that because you see twenty seven ten two thousand ten he filed his income tax return. 31 3 2011 his income tax return was processed and it was rejected now my lord why it was rejected because he has not mentioned his income my lord he has only my lord shown the tds which were deducted by the income tax department so you are saying that delay due to litigation my lord it is it was due to litigation one and therefore my lord again he challenged my lord that order before commissioner income tax appeals In 2012, Malod Commissioner appeals rejected his Malod his appeal. He he kept sitting tight over for Malod one and half years. Then in the mid of 2013, he moved another application Malod before M K Verma, the then income tax officer, by filing uh, application under section under section 89.1 as well as Malod form 10E was also submitted by him for claiming the benefit of Malod the spread over of income under section 89.1. That was accepted, my lord. And an order was passed on five twelve two thousand fourteen in his favour. Now, my lord, after that order was passed, we again, my lord, we again revised that order, and a so-called notice was issued to him, my lord, on seven five two thousand nineteen, my lord. On seven five two thousand nineteen, that became subject. Sorry, seventeen. That became subject matter of challenge in WP nine four nine four public two thousand seventeen. We, my lord, we said that this order which had been passed by the That the later one by the assessing uh, assessing officer that is not my lord feasible in the eyes of law. Why? Because my lord the revised computation sheet has not been filed by him, and therefore my lord in the light of judgment passed by Supreme Court, my lord in two eighty four I T R, this is not maintainable. Honourable court said no. This is only an after thought on your part. Uh, this order dated five twelve two thousand fourteen has attained finality, and therefore seven five two thousand seventeen show cause notice was quashed. 
and in para 34 honorable high court said ki whatever calculations are required to be made and dues are required to be paid to the petitioner they should be in accordance with order dated 5/12 2014 now your lordship after that when we made a payment on 25/4 2019 he filed for not even contempt petition the contempt has also been dismissed my lord it was not dismissed no no because in contempt it was said direction he, was given he, 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 you are not happy my lord whatever compliance down to this i2 order let us see whether what have what compliance has been made my lord 27 page 27 my lord this, this uh, may, may read my lord this page number 13 onwards my lord. Yeah. 31 or 27 i think my lord only 13 my lord and exit p1 my lord of his office petition my lord if my lord will allow me to complete my lord that will make entire picture clear my lord Now, no. paragraph three, my lord. This is the answer, my lord, of of the of the rate of interest which has been applied, my lord, in the case of petitioner. Mm -hmm. As per your letter, you have claimed that interest on on delay of refund should be calculated at the rate of one point five percent per month, mm -hmm. which is not correct. The provision of section two forty four of the Income Tax Act stated that two forty three. Not sure, it is two forty three. उंट To thirty four two thousand nineteen, which is incorrect. The provision of section two forty four capital A of the income tax state that two forty four A one, where refund of any amount becomes due to the assessee under this act, he shall subject to the provisions of this section be entitled to receive in addition to the said amount simple interest simple interest therefrom calculated in the following manner, namely A. Where the refund is out of any tax collected at source under Section two zero six C, or paid by way of advance tax, or treated as paid under Section one ninety nine during the financial year immediately preceding the assessment year, such interest shall be calculated at the rate of one half one half percent for every month or part of a month comprised in the period from the from the first date of April of the assessment year to the date on which the refund is granted. If the if the return Of income has been furnished on or before the due date specified under section under subsection one of section one thirty nine. Now number two, my lord, which is applicable from the date of furnishing of income tax return to the date on which refund is granted in a case not covered under clause one. Now his case, my lord, is my lord this. So we have calculated from the date of filing of return that is twenty seven ten two thousand two thousand ten. So his case is covered by two, my lord, my lord by two. So that means from the date of furnishing furnishing of income tax return. When when was that? When was that? Twenty seven ten two thousand two thousand ten. Twenty seven ten two thousand two thousand ten. Ah. And my lord, it has been paid on twenty five four two thousand nineteen by years. Yes. Little less than nine years. G eight and eight and. Sir, it 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 is not actually calculated, my lord, but like that because in the in in between this number of events have also taken have taken place. Appeal. Then, my lord. Then again, again filing of application. Then we objected to that, my lord. Then again a show cause notice was issued. Then it it became my lord challenge before this court, and ultimately order was passed, my lord, mm. in the WP nine four nine four public two thousand seventeen. Now your lordship, can you see? Uh, paragraph at page number fifteen. So you have calculated this eight and a half years of period. J. You calculated interest at the rate of point five percent. Half percent yes. per month. Yes, per month. Okay. And sir, the same has been calculated by the chartered accountant also. Now your lordship, it is for him because last time, my lord, what he was saying that the report of chartered accountant has been not given to him in its entirety, my lord. Okay. Half the chartered accountant report has been given. So, my lord, here we are only required to see whether the income tax department has complied with the order dated five twelve two thousand fourteen in terms of order passed under uh, by this honourable court in WP nine four nine four of the two thousand seventeen. Please listen. 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 After hearing petitioner in person and Sri Lal, 
फील्ड The sole question which arises is that after the decision of the coordinate bench of this court is rendered on 14 2019 and WP number so and so, why do not the P10s where the amount of total refund is 2 lakh 5030 and interest over the same amounting to rupees 1 lakh 8650 held to be payable by the revenue is the correct figure as per law or not? Again, the petitioner claims that the principal amount ought to be two lakh eighty one thousand seven ninety seven instead of two lakh five thousand zero thirty. Now, as per this order, three points has been raised. That is, first, uh, first is section eighty nine one. It is to be explained. Second, whether the petitioner is entitled for two eighty one or two lakh five thousand. I am demanding two eighty one. They are giving me two lakh five thousand. On that point, the report is silent. On 819 section, the report is silent. They have given only arithmetical calculation on section 244, and I have challenged that 244 is not applicable in my case because I have got the refund by order of this honourable court. No, the difference is this, this difference which is coming is only because. Of the rate of interest, the rate of interest, the rate of interest and amount of refund. Also. They have taken the basic amount as two lakh five thousand. No, but is it there in the uh, ITO's order? Because the in the earlier round, they had said that whatever has been given by the ITO, that will whatever benefit is Lord there, Shep. that will flow to you. Lord Chief, can we see an example? Uh, you come to no. Let the previous round of uh, litigation. Please. You know, we we cannot go behind the previous round. This no, no, is, this I is. I cannot go. Uh, you know, behind the previous round. No, your petition is. Because he have, he have also quoted the previous round. Client is here and accept this. Your your petition is. It is more or less is like an execution application of the earlier round. No, no. That you want to implement what, that. What the honourable High Court has said. In previous order, that has been com not complied by them. So client is here and accept this. The previous order is. What does it say? What does it say? It is directed that petitioner is entitled to and shall be paid his dues mentioned in the order dated five twelve thirteen of the ITO. Gotcha. Within no. two months. Now, no penalty. No penalty. See, an extra P seven. Where they have refused to give me the refund entirely. No. No. Given no. Me. no first, we have to come no, to no. the ITO's order. Yes. No. I, ITO ne kya bola hai? ITO order is five twelve. Ah. Uh, Twenty. Twenty six, twenty seven. That is 